Now, I just want to say something about Josh Frydenberg. Josh Frydenberg's mother, Erica Strauss, was born in 1943 in the Budapest ghetto. That's where the fascists had pushed all the Jews in together as a prelude to sending them to the gas chamber. She wasn't a Hungarian citizen when she was born. Neither were her parents. Do you know why? The Hungarian fascist government, allied with Hitler, stripped Jews of all of their rights, the right to citizenship and the right to life. Her family fled Hungary at the end of the war. It's a miracle they weren't killed, as so many of their relatives were. Three quarters of all the Jews in Hungary were murdered in the Holocaust, and the prelude to murdering them was depriving them of their citizenship, rendering them subhumans in the eyes of the fascists and the Nazis. I, I wish that those who make these allegations about Josh Frydenberg could think a little deeper about the history of the Holocaust. So, Erica Strauss came to Australia as a stateless person. She had no citizenship. She came to Australia, she became an Australian citizen, and she is Josh's mother. Has this witch hunt become so absurd that people are seriously claiming that Josh Frydenberg is the citizen of a country which stripped his mother and her family of their citizenship and would have pushed them into the gas chambers had it not been that the war was ended before they had time to do so.